Greetings everyone and welcome. This is Neo and you are watching Fintech. If you enjoy our content, please do not forget to leave a like. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be informed about our later videos. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Before we start our video, let's hear our legal disclaimer. None of the information given in this video should be taken as financial advice. Please make your investments according to your own research. So as you know, the most common use case of crypto technology and decentralization is for economic purposes. After the release of these decentralized mechanisms, we quickly become aware of the fact that you can generate significant revenue using decentralized cryptocurrencies. And yes, today's landscape is growing towards a decentralized future where economy is in the center. However, by no means can we disregard the fact that the cryptocurrency, in a sense, is a scientific evolution. And as much as I believe economical purposes will be the key to unlock a decentralized future, decentralized science is still quite big and will be prominent in our lives. And the project which we are going to talk about today wants to focus on this D side, decentralized science, and they are doing something quite innovative. What is more, they are combining what they have with artificial intelligence technology, which is not only quite popular these days, but is poised to reshape how we think about internet. So private AI is a pioneering innovation where they are bringing together artificial intelligence and decentralized science. And just for that, they are worth talking about. Private AI offers some solutions to the challenges faced by the traditional methods in science. And they are bringing together a collaborative environment that streamlines the discovery process, ignites innovation, and ensures for compensation for data providers. And this transformative approach has the potential to reshape the scientific research and data utilization for the benefit of all people. Even just by looking at their websites, you understand that they are very serious in what they are trying to achieve. And it is really great to see. But another reason why private AI captured my attention is their current sale. As we are speaking, private AI is listed on CPAD Launchpad. And they are listed with a fundraising goal of $300,000 and their token price is merely 0.33. Their token is on BNB chain as you can see here and right now their tier plus whitelist process is ongoing and you have around 9 hours. Now towards the end of the video I will explain how CPAD Launchpad works, how tier system works and how you can participate this sales and IDOs. But first I want to give you more details about why private AI is quite important. Private AI leverages the prowess of cutting edge AI models to elevate the platform's capabilities. Spacey, a leader in named entity recognition NER, meticulously identifies and classifies key entities within scientific papers uploaded to the platform. This is a quite innovative approach using the AI technology at the same time. So this actually further enhances by Rebel, a powerful tool for relation extraction, which unveils the relationship between these entities and the combined power of these AI models strengthens the representation of knowledge graphs, enabling researchers to grab the intricacies of data with unprecedented clarity never seen before. And the platform prioritizes user experience with meticulously designed interface that offers a quite intuitive approach and access and effortless navigation in their website. This ensures a quite seamless journey for both data contributors and researchers. And speaking about data contributors, this is one of the key aspects of private AI. These data contributors and also researchers can generate significant yields in the platform and this is a way to sustain the whole ecosystem. And the ecosystem is powered by their own native token called PGPT token, which serves as the lifeblood of the platform really, because it facilitates seamless transactions within the ecosystem, incentivizing the crucial act of data sharing. And with a transparently defined total supply and compatibility with leading blockchain networks, PGPT ensures maximum flexibility and accessibility for users and investors alike. 
if you take a look at their tokenomics, you will see there are only 100 million tokens of PGPT. And the network is also on Ether, Binance Smart Chain and Solana, which generates great accessibility. If you take a look at the distribution of PGPT token, you will understand that the team has meticulously designed this token distribution and the team pool is 15%, which makes sense in this case. It's a scientific project where you need a big and very experienced team. And also there's an advisor pool, which is 5.5%, but they also reserve 15% for community growth. And of course, the biggest sum around 25% is reserved for private AI core building because their system means everything in this case. And speaking about team and the development, the team behind the private AI is quite robust and quite experienced in what they are doing. As you can see here, the project is led by Angel Versetti. He is the ex-founder of Ombrosus and also founder of Dogecoin Foundation and head community of Doge. So he is quite experienced in crypto business. But if that's not all, he also has a touch on Polkadot as the founder and head of Veils of Syscoin. So he is one of those people who are doing everything on the crypto and decentralized landscape that he is aware of what he is presenting as a product. He studied at Oxford and he also has connections in Google and Bloomberg. And CTO Maxim Prochepo is also no slouch. Well, he's actually very, very experienced. He's the former lead architect of Phantom Foundation and the mastermind behind the Lacasse's consensus algorithm and the spatial fee contract with, in short, as VC. And it is also great to see a woman's touch in the position of CMO, Dr. Kate Yaniszewska. She's the ex-CMO of Ambrosus actually, more than 70 million rays, remember that, and also CMO of Dogecoin Foundation. The other team members are Marcelo Mari, Rafa Tarik, Grigori Gonastarev, Amir Umayev, Alexander Chasovnikov, and Alex Dudkovsky. As you can understand, the team behind the project has very strong connections and it is evident in their partners. So Private AI has secured partnerships with prominent organizations like Microsoft for Startups, Singularity DAO, and Vault Inu. And these strategic alliances demonstrate Private AI's commitment to collaboration and dedication to provide the best in the industry. And their development roadmap is also quite well balanced. So in the next quarter of 2024, they want to achieve decentralized research communities, proof of data availability, engagement of AI engineers as providers of custom AI tools and AI tools marketplace. And in this quarter of 2024, they are working on PGP token launch, as you can see on CPAT, staking protocol, advanced knowledge graphs and data search and much more. The fact that they have very strong partners such as Microsoft and Singularity DAO just further solidifies how important the project can be in the decentralized landscape as a founder of decentralized science. And as they're in the public sales stage right now, they're working with various different launchpads and various different platforms. And the team is quite active, as you can see on Twitter, they are constantly entering in events, they're talking with the community, engaging with the people who are supporting the platform. Now, let's turn our attention to CPAT and what they offer with Private AI Launch. So probably you heard about CPAT, and this is one of the most prominent players in the Launchpad space. One of CPAT's most innovative feature is its mass mining technology. This revolutionary approach breaks down barriers to entry by allowing users to participate in cryptocurrency mining using readily available devices like laptops and smartphones. And when we turn to our launchpad, security and speed are the two most important things. This token has hold and earn. The real yield model built in the CPAD allows users to benefit from holding SPT tokens. There is also governance participation. SPT holders have the power to influence the future of the platform through participation in its governance model. And there are staking rewards. By staking their SPT tokens, users can earn additional rewards on the CPAD platform. And there is token swapping in exchange, which is very good. The platform facilitates seamless swapping and exchange of SPD token with other cryptocurrencies for ease of use and access. 
The total supply of SBT is 100 million on SUI mainnet and this token is very stable and predictable environment for all participants because you will enter launch pads with this token. And that's actually why I'm talking about SBT token. If you want to get into the projects on CPAD launchpad, you need SBT token. Initially acquiring SP tokens is quite a straightforward process. You can purchase them on the Maxi platform and subsequently stake them to unlock the full potential of CPAD, which serves as a key to accessing exclusive benefits and maximizing your experience in the ecosystem. And once you have secured your tokens, you can hand over the staking section directly on the CPAD ecosystem and the amount you stake will determine your tier. And staking and getting a tier uh, means exclusive benefits, including participation in exclusive token sales, special events, and governance voting. Additionally, stakers receiving ongoing rewards, which is great. So you're not only staking for your tier, but you also stake for rewards, which will generate passively. And CPAT sales has a quite meticulous plan. Uh, the guaranteed round ensures a baseline allocation for investors based on their tier level. And the booster rounds adds a predetermined percentage increase to the maximum allocation for all participating, further democratizing the access. Finally, of course, we have FCFS first come first serve rounds, which allows investors to grab any remaining tokens after the previous rounds. And as you can see on this ongoing tier plus whitelist stage of private AI sale, more than half of it, around 200,000, has already been achieved, which is great news for private AI and speaks volumes about its popularity. So if you want to get into the sale, you should check out CPAT and get some SPD tokens and stake them, determine your tier, and then you can enter this very easily. And you should also check out private AI on social channels and you should check out their website. That's all for today's video. We will continue to bring you the latest news and promising projects. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching FinTech. Until next time.